In today's tutorial, we will have a look at a nice example of competing reactions. Here we have our starting material with a carbonyl group. And a carbonyl group has especially acidic protons in alpha position here and there. And in the side chain, we have a bromide, which is a good leaving group for nucleophilic substitution, since here, at this position, we then have a positively polarized carbon. So, we add a base, and what are bases doing? They deprotonate. And they can either deprotonate here and there. This is already a competing reaction to different reactive intermediates. If it's deprotonated here, then we will reach this enolate, mesomerically stabilized. If we deprotonate here, then we will have this one as a reactive intermediate. The hysterically hindered base, preferentially the CH3 group, is deprotonated, getting to this enolate. However, the other one is thermodynamically a bit more stable. It's this enolate. So, Both this oxygen and the carbon have nucleophilic character, so it is a so-called ambident nucleophile. Nucleophilic center here, nucleophilic center there. Both reactions are competing. If that oxygen reacts as a nucleophile, one, two, three, four, five, then after the elimination of bromide, the substitution of bromide, we will then have a five-membered ring with an oxygen here. And if the carbon will attack as a nucleophile, then we will get to a carbon carbocycle, also five-membered ring, having a carbonyl group here. In that case, if the oxygen is the nucleophilic center, then again this Furan derivative, actually a dihydro furan, methyl substituted dihydro furan, would be formed. And if that carbon will react as a nucleophile, well, a strained molecule is formed with a three membered ring, but this is also possible. This would be the product. Well, is that all? No. Here we have stereo information. The side chain is on the same side as the oxygen. We should not forget that also the other stereo isomer could be formed then the oxygen can't reach intramolecularly to that bromide, to, to that carbon, and substituting the bromide. For, out of geo, geometrical reasons, this does not fit, but it could react intra, intermolecularly, forming polymers, Or, if 
Short, Shorter Jeans und die Bundes. This is true for all those intermediates. However, this carbon as a nucleophile could reach out for that carbon and in that case just the same substituted cyclopropane would be formed. So again, minus bromide. Oh, okay, these should be all possibilities for competing reactions in that case, except, of course, if a base, a base has a free electron pair, and those with the free electron pairs can also react as a nucleophile, well, nucleophilic substitution by the base itself could also be possible. One should keep that in mind. Thanks for listening.